Trees help fight climate change, but trees are also suffering because of climate change. So what does the latest research reveal about how the lungs of our planet are doing in a warming world? Well, let's start with the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon. With an estimated 390 billion individual trees, the Amazon absorbs a quarter of all the CO2 on land. That amount absorbed today, though, is about 30% less than it was in the 1990s because of deforestation. When the Amazon trees are burned or processed, the locked-in CO2 is released back into the atmosphere. And the latest research shows us that at current rates of deforestation, the Amazon forest will no longer be able to regenerate by the end of the century. And what about the lungs in our own backyards and cities? Well, we may need to start thinking about planting different kinds of trees now that can tolerate a warmer, drier climate. A new study in Nature Climate Change found that by 2050, about three quarters of the species you see in and around your communities might not make it. Losing tree cover in urban areas means cities will become even hotter in our warming climate. The best strategy, according to the scientists, is to choose resilient species. So get used to a very different looking downtown future. Trees are resilient, though. And even though one tree just can't uproot itself and head on north, well, that actually is happening in a way. In the high Arctic, there are no trees. The tree line is what we call the edge of the habitat at which trees are capable of growing. Further north, trees can't tolerate the extreme cold, snow, and lack of available moisture. The Arctic is warming more than four times faster than the rest of the planet. And tree seeds are surviving and growing further north. On top of that, as trees cover a larger area of the Arctic, they're changing the color from barren white to a dark green that actually absorbs more heat, accelerating the warming process. Still, it's this survival instinct of those trees that's a poignant sign of their resiliency. And now you're science smart. If you have a question on your mind, send me an email and I'll try to get it answered.